Okay, welcome to Linux Music. This is the third of three on uh, Synthesis, Sound Fonts, and Swami. If you haven't seen the first two on Synthesis, Sound Fonts, and then Swami uh, building a sound font, I urge you to go back. This is just how to set it up, clean up a little bit in your system, and some cautions on what not to do. Okay, as discussed, this is the third of three. If you haven't seen the first two, uh, synthesis, sound fonts, and Swami, or uh, Swami, uh, build a sound font. You'll you'll want to see those before we go here because this is just cleaning up from uh, things on those videos. Here's a sound font called Bad Sound Font, and you'll see why. As we talked about, here's samples. Those samples go into an instrument, and that instrument all by itself makes uh, the melodic preset. Now, if I play this instrument, let's take a closer look at that. If I play in this range, and if I play in this range, you notice that gap. So let's look at D4 and there's D4 and D5 and the difference. If I look at D4 sample and look at D5, you'll see quite a bit of time before D5 starts. And that is that delay we just saw. So when you make your own samples, you'll want to make sure that uh, this this delay probably is as minimal as possible, but certainly is consistent between the samples uh, that you might put into an instrument. Now, let's look at here. And let's look at D6 versus D5. There's D5, there's D6. Notice a considerable difference in amplitude. So another thing you'd want to be sure to do when you make your own samples is to make sure that you've normalized them to some consistent value. Uh, probably doesn't matter so much what it is. Uh, leave yourself a couple uh, tenths headroom or something, but, but make sure they're consistent. Otherwise, as you play up the different layers, things will, will sound bad. Now let's just uh, make more of the point. Let's put a little overlap in here. And you hear the two layers coming in. So uh, just to further make the point, that might be an effect you like, but uh, do it intentionally, not accidentally. Lastly, uh, one thing you'll want to do when we look at preferences is to know where your sound fonts on your system are. Now in in uh, Fedora, they're in user share sound fonts. I don't know about your distribution, but if you uh, come over here to your preferences, you can set that so that it'll always open wherever your sound fonts are, and you can have a stock of them there now. Notice I have quite a few sound fonts here, SF2s, as, as we said, sound font of uh, version 2.0 or 2.02, whatever the, the version would be. And if you, you need some sound fonts, they're all over the internet, just Google them. Uh, on Linux, you might have a little trouble because they're generally compressed with one of a couple utilities called SF Pack or SF Arc. If you look on my website that I think is linked at the top of the the Google channel or, or the Google Plus page or the YouTube channel, I've uh, basically just unpacked them and zipped them so they're a little bit more accessible in, in uh, the Linux distributions. But otherwise, there are sound fonts everywhere. Uh, go pick yourself up some, play with them. Uh, have a ball. I showed you last time how you can mix and match from different uh, sound fonts and make your own. If you watch those two things we discussed, make sure your samples are uh, consistent in their amplitude and their volume. Make sure that they're consistent in the, the delay from when you push the key to when they start. You'll be fine. So there you go. Make some sound fonts uh, and entertain your kids, entertain your friends. Have a ball.
Okay, well, that ends this week. Uh, like always, uh, here's the versions we're using. If what you're seeing uh, isn't what's shown in the video, uh, check that first. Um, here's here's also the, the websites of the things we've looked at, and I, I urge you to check them out. Uh, Google, uh, Wikipedia, uh, get involved. This is really cool stuff. The community is is very gracious, very friendly, ask questions. Uh, I know we covered this really, really fast, and there's a lot of stuff involved. I'll leave questions on the YouTube channel or on the Google Plus page or send me an email, whatever. If anything's not clear, uh, we'll try to get you straightened out. And otherwise, uh, I hope that you have a lot of fun, and we'll, we'll see you next time.